Tom Phillips is third, and the other three leaderboard places are filled by Hondas too. Redmonds, Shimazakis, and Tanaguchis. What a performance. Lap three, the last, and at Fratton, Hayward leads to Veery. But it's Honda, Honda, Honda all the way. As the company came to dominate TT racing, international sales increased with offices in Europe, Asia, Canada, and Australia. In 1962, a manufacturing facility opened in Belgium, the first foreign plant of any Japanese company. New bikes joined in a growing portfolio, including the CB754, the Sport Cup, and Monkey CZ100. By 1968, global bike production would stand at 10 million units. Honda bikes were becoming ever more powerful, and customers enthusiastically enjoyed these new levels of performance. So Shira Honda decided products could not be improved without a test track on which to improve them. And the result was the Suzuka race circuit. Opened on September 20, 1962, with the first Japan National Road Racing Championships, Suzuka brought about the dawn of serious motorsports in Japan. In addition to fast, powerful bikes, other new products were now appearing, such as electrical generators and pumps. In 1964, the company launched its first outboard marine engine, the GB30. At the time, polluting two-stroke engines were the norm in marine engineering. So Shiro Honda consciously evoked the ecosystem when he told his design team, because the water raises fish, and fish live in the water, I don't want to contaminate it. For this reason, a clean four-stroke engine was developed, and the GB30 was the result. Honda Motors' first entry into the car market was also about to take place, and at the 1962 Tokyo Motor Fair, the company unveiled a light truck, the T360. Subsequent launches included the N360 Mini Car, which rapidly became Japan's best-selling vehicle. Honda cars had arrived. This arrival allowed Honda to expand its racing activities. In 1964, the company announced its entry into the world of Formula One racing. Success was not to come instantly. Initial entries failed to even finish their races. As the team lost at the US Grand Prix, Soshiro Honda decided he could no longer bring himself to watch. I could hardly keep my eyes on the race because I felt my entire system was turning upside down when I watched our machines. The 1964 season passed without a single top three placing. 1965 proceeded in the same way until the last race of the season, the 65-lap Mexican Grand Prix. On October 24, 1965, an RA272 race car, driven by American driver Richie Ginther, nosed its way onto the circuit for the 5-kilometer race. Determined not to lose, Ginther's optimism lifted the entire team. From the start, he led the race until, coming through the final turn, he allowed his car to drift. Another racer blocked him into second place. Struggling not to drop his speed, Ginther dodged the other car. The Honda car crossed the finish line in first position with 2.89 seconds to spare. As Ginther was swamped by race fans at the winner's podium, the jubilant team manager Yoshio Nakamura telegrammed back to Tokyo the words of Julius Caesar. Veni, vidi, vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. 